Destructive eye surgeries in a minute. Destructive eye surgeries refer to the removal of a part or whole of the globe entailing a complete loss of vision. Destructive eye surgery is to be done only when retention of the globe will hamper the general health or survival of an individual. It is mainly of three types. Evisceration, when you remove, there is a surgical removal of the intraocular content of the globe leaving behind a scleral shell. So you do it in any pathology that is confined to the globe alone. So you have a blind painful eye due to infectious pathology like severe endophthalmitis or panophthalmitis. Or you have severe bleeding from behind the uveal tract like bleeding anterior staphyloma or expulsive choroidal hemorrhage. You do evisceration. Never do evisceration in malignancy because malignancy may not be confined just to the intraocular content. Enucleation is surgical removal of the entire globe. You remove the sclera to in enucleation. Indications is intraocular malignancy that has not been controlled by other modalities of treatment. And when you have a severe thysis or cosmetic deformity, it is better to take out that shrunken atrophy globe and put a better looking ocular prosthesis. When you have a severe trauma with risk of sympathetic ophthalmia in the other eye to prevent bilateral blindness, it is better to take out the non-functional severely injured eye. And eccentration is the third modality in which there is a surgical removal of the entire orbit including the globe and optic nerve, extraocular muscles, periorbita and even part of the eyelids. Indications is when you have tumors with orbital invasion. In recent times, mucormycosis, remember, is a very important indication. Orbital deformities. Contraindication is metastasis.